start about a year ahead of time. This is our, our premier runway event for Tucson Fashion Week. This is a major night. It's a lot of work. There are so many different layers, so many different details that we are organized chaos. What are you freaking about? Yeah. We have 15 dressers. We have 30 volunteers. Front of the house has 30 volunteers. We're all doing fittings for two hours. So she's either 15 or 12, right? Look. We have six local and regional designers. We have uh, two major industry uh, leaders that we brought in from out of town. Pick where you want the designers and place them. Okay. It'll take five minutes tops. If you just get it done, then the designers can do their thing. It's the designers. That's, they're the most important aspect of Tucson Fashion Week. Our local and regional designers, they are amazing, talented group of people. Oh, careful. OK, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Okay. Victory. I haven't met any of these models until today, and I had their measurements, but I can only do so much without, you know, having them there. So a lot of like shifting around. Awesome. That looks so good. Did you reach these shoes for you? Yeah. This looks super cute. It's gonna work awesome. I'm Spanish and Mexican, so I try to kind of mix nobility Spanish with more of the Mexican, um, more of the native kind of tribes, and try to mix with print and play with nobility at the same time. First collection, so I thought it would make it more personal and kind of really reflect who I was as a designer. My line is called Yearling. I've been working on this for the last six months probably. Not every single day until about two months ago, and then, then the last two months it's been like morning, noon, and night. I like to help people in any form or fashion that I can, and fashion is one of the ways that you are able to help people. You help makeup artists have their visions come to life, you help hairstylists have their visions come to life, and designers. It's, it's not necessarily something I just do for fun, I do enjoy it, but to me it's extremely serious because other people are entrusting their livelihood in my hands. Josh, do you want to give us a little music? We are an hour to top a show, so a lot of rehearsals, getting models dressed, crazy chaos in the back room, front of house is already greeting people, feeding people, getting people excited. All these layers of things, all this work, all these hours of work for like a 35 minute show and then poof, it's done. <laughs> I think it's like we're, we're athletes, you know? The adrenaline starts pumping once we get going. It's quick, hurry, change, go quick. You have to keep in mind what they need to put on first, what needs to go on second, and what's the fastest, quickest way to get out there again. I have 18 looks and I have 16 models. So the first two girls have to change into the last two looks. Is this it? Where are they? Can't have dead space in my runway, get it. Everybody's really stressed. <laughs> Everybody starts yelling. I need a model. I need a model. There's got to be that element to it, or, or like nobody would hustle, you know, like, and you have to hustle. So sometimes, sometimes you got to get real. So I was in Paris with her for one fashion week, New York, several fashion weeks. Paula brings a very, very professional fashion production background. She takes Tucson, a regional fashion show, makes it an actual real fashion show, throws in entertainment, and also helps teach. Tucson Fashion Week is the most professional show I've ever done, like by far. Like it, there's so much detail and attention put into everything and it just looks extremely polished. And we don't have much of a scale of events going on here, so that's why I think Tucson Fashion Week is special because it kind of creates that atmosphere where you want to dress up. It's legit. And then even Tucsonans learn how to 
be at a fashion event, which Tucson was not always known for fashion. Oh, it's a small business. We're not exactly raking in the bucks yet. So we do it because we love it. It is fun. For our emerging designers, what a great experience to be on a runway with someone who's been in the industry for 40 years, 20 years, who's doing really well, you know? That, that doesn't happen every day. The sure as heck doesn't happen in New York Fashion Week, right? This is art. You know, it's not just, it's not just pretty dresses. Like, this is, this is the only art that I make. I am a full-time practicing attorney. I'm a public defender in the juvenile court system in Maricopa County. Even though a lot of people wouldn't see how the two overlap, they're pretty similar. When I become an attorney, each and every day I'm a trial attorney, I become this new person. And with modeling, it's the same thing too. So I get to pretty much like test out other sides of me and be the theatrical person that I kind of am that most people can't tell. It was great to see the models walk and kind of bring your dresses to life and just give it that last little element that my design needs. It's an amazing feeling, so you know you're doing a good job and as long as you're getting that hype of a crowd, it's my idea. If I didn't do this, I'd have to go to therapy probably. <laughs> It's completely different than seeing it on a hanger. It just completely brings it to life. It's incredible.